The following video has spoilers for the movie Ford vs. Ferrari. The spoilers I mentioned for Ford vs. Ferrari are of the results of the actual 1966 24 Hours of Le Mans race, which was a race depicted in the movie. Therefore, it's a historical event that can be researched. Anyways, I just want to warn you, in case you want to remain spoiler free, from Ford vs. Ferrari. I will timestamp the block of time. The spoiler occurs in the description. Thank you for your viewership. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. The 2020 Oscars are done, and my goodness, it was a surprise. It was a surprise that. Parasites wins Best Picture. Yes, obviously it was going to win Best International Feature Film. That was a given by these other pundits and myself who were predicting that Parasite was going to win that. And it obviously won that. But for it to also win Best Picture, it is historic, unprecedented, and yeah, it was... It was awesome that it did. Parasite is a fantastic movie. One of my favorite movies of 2019. And once I get to watch it over and over again, I see it making it into my top 10 movies of the 2010s decade. Although still my number one movie of 2019 is Ford vs Ferrari. You know the reasons. With the Oscars over, I do want to give my post Academy Awards reaction to the results of the Oscars while playing Gran Turismo Sports. If you think about it, it's unrelated, but actually it is related this year with Ford vs. Ferrari nominated in four other categories. Ford vs. Ferrari did win two Oscars, one in Best Sound Editing and one in Best Film Editing. So in honor of Ford vs. Ferrari, as well as reacting to the Oscar results. I'm going to use the Ford GT40 Mark 1, the one used in the 24 Hours of Le Mans at that time, with the Ken Miles livery, which I found on the livery thing. You can find different liveries on Gran Turismo that people created, and this one replicates the one used by Ken Miles in Ford v Ferrari. and in the actual 1966 24 hour of Le Mans race. And most definitely, we're here racing on Circuit de la Sarthe with no chicane, with that long back stretch to the hairpin. that let's go racing I'm doing this in the arcade setting I set the difficulty to intermediate since there, since I, since I really want to race similar cars on the same power level as the car I'm driving. Alright. Alright. It's interesting with Gran Turismo Sport, you know, I have to adapt to 
different cars every time I drive a different car. Like when you're playing a formula car, it's so fast and shifting is so fast and and then you play like a regular sports car. It feels slower, but I mean you're actually going pretty fast. Anyways, get the draft. Again, I'm doing the old circuit where it doesn't have the chicanes down this long back stretch. It's full throttle all the way. Shifted up thinking there is another gear, but the limits at four. It's, it's old, it's 1966, 4 TT. I, I lifted thinking it was the hairpin at that point, it wasn't. It wasn't. Oh, I got hit from behind. Fuck. All right, we are in first, and let's start away from these guys, shall we? Just like how Ken Miles and Bruce McLaren drove away from. Ferraris in the 1966, 24 hours of Le Mans. Spoiler alert. Oh no, 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 no! Oh! Off track, off track. The brakes. I mean, brakes are good, just not in comparison to Formula Car brakes. You have to brake earlier. And imagine that, you know, cars back in the 60s did not have, does, did not have the technology we have today in our cars with uh, ABS. You would really have to work the brake, your car gets loose on entry. You really have to work the car. There's no power steering back in the day. And imagine driving for 24 hours and then back in the day it was just two drivers sharing one team car. Nowadays they they prefer four drivers, or at least the maximum limit in a team is four drivers for a 24-hour race. talk about some of the winners in the acting categories. Best Supporting Actor in a Feature Film went to Brad Pitt for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. My prediction was correct in that, and as well as a lot of these other movie pundits and critics I follow. They predicted Brad Pitt to win that. Laura Dern won Best Supporting Actress for Marriage Story. Best Actor went to Joaquin Phoenix for Joker. And for Best 
actress in the leading role went to Renee Zellweger for Judy. Again, I, I shift up and there's only four gears in this thing. But at least, you know, that shift up was just to know that, oh, there's no fifth gear in this. Let's hold it down. We're at 185. Just leveling up at 185. 186. Yeah, slight downhill. Back to 185. 186. Bounce between. Top off at 186. Past. I that asked him. But speed. Oh, I did it again. I did it again. I did it again. Oh, control it. Control it. Control it. All right. Woo! Saved it. Made the corner. Through Indianapolis. I forgot what this corner was called. Best original screenplay went to Bong Joon-ho for Parasite. Best adapted screenplay went to Jojo Rabbit by Taika Waititi. No, 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 no! Oh, thank you, automatic get back on track thing. But now I'm... Um, I just threw away my race. It's alright. Just wanted to let you guys know. Oh, you know what? You know what? It is fitting. Because Ken Miles didn't win the 1966 24 hour of the mob. He led off, remember? Or, spoiler alert, he led off and let Bruce McLaren get that win. Or at least he thought he was going to win, but I don't know. Controversy. Controversy. Oh, wait, wait. I can get him at the latch of cake. Gotcha, bud. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, got, I got him back. I got him back. Wow. Woo. <laughs> that, was, that was close. Saved myself. But I, I guess I have to thank that automatic reset thing that... Gran Turismo Sport has. Woo! Fun race, fun race. Very difficult car to drive. And again, if you would imagine something like that with the 24 Hours of Le Mans, how to handle such a beast of a car that beat Ferrari. All right, I'm gonna start the replay and as it goes, I'm going to talk to you about the rest of the winners from the Oscars. Let me look at my notes here. Let me go over the rest of the winners presented at this year's Oscars or Academy Awards, whatever you want to call it. For Best Animated Feature Film, that went to Toy Story 4. With Toy Story 4 winning, it was a surprise to me. And I bet a lot of pundits were surprised about that win too because they were predicting the Netflix animated film Klaus. For best animated short film, it's Hair Love. I haven't seen it myself, but it looks awesome. Best production design went to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Best costume design went to Little Women. For best documentary feature, it went to American Factory on Netflix. For best 
documentary short feature, it went to learning to skateboard in a war zone if you're a girl. Like I said, best sound editing went to Ford v Ferrari, but for best sound mixing, that went to 1917. Best makeup and hairstyle went to Bombshell. Best cinematography went to Roger Deakins for 1917. Best visual effects went to 1917. Best original score went to Hildur Gudetier for Joker. Hopefully I pronounced her last name right. It's quite the tongue twister. Best original song went to Elton John and Bernie Taupin for I'm Gonna Love Me Again in Rocket Man. Once again, the big winner of tonight's Oscars is Parasite. Parasite won for Best Original Screenplay, Best Director, Best International Feature Film, as well as the big one, Best Motion Picture. It is a very historic and unprecedented moment in history, in Academy Awards movie history, where Parasite won Best International Film, as well as Best Picture. It's never been done before with the foreign film, but it is amazing that it happened tonight. And Parasite is an amazing film, and definitely, if you haven't seen it yet, you should definitely check out Parasite. It is a great, superb, exquisite, fabulous movie. You definitely have to check out Parasite. With this year's Oscars, I was really surprised that Eminem performed on stage. Eminem performed the song Lose Yourself from 8 Mile as the section in the Academy Awards show was just showcasing the music behind the movies. And they just, I guess, they just got Eminem to perform. Now, I predicted Billie Eilish would debut the title song for the new James Bond film, No Time to Die. Unfortunately, I was wrong. Billie Eilish, with her brother on the piano, performed during the In Memoram section of the show, covering the song Yesterday by the Beatles. And Billie Eilish did beautifully performing that song.
truly the big winner once again of the Oscars this year is Parasites. Anyways, that is my reaction post Academy Awards this year. 2019 was a fantastic year of movies. A lot of great movies came out last year and hopefully we'll see the same this year in 2020. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to click like. Subscribe to the Spellgo YouTube channel if you haven't. And thank you for watching.